Okay, sorry for that. Um, we were talking about uh, spurious correlation, okay? Um, if z is a uh, rurality of a region, then, okay, okay we know that uh, there are more storks in rural regions because, you know, you have better air, more food, more trees for storks, and also the birth rate is higher because, well, there are less babies in cities. And because we have this third factor z, um, we could conclude that storks are somewhat related to birth rates, but this is not really true. Okay, so this we would call a spurious correlation. And another example um, would be that we can observe that there is a correlation uh, in the in ice cream sales in a region and deaths that occur by drowning, um, which is of course also a spurious correlation. Okay, as you can imagine, um, there is a third variable that uh, that um, influences both, and that is um, average temperature. Okay, if temperatures are high, there will be more ice cream sales. And if temperatures are high, we will also have more people um, in swimming pools, more people uh, in lakes in, and rivers, and that will lead to more people drowning. Okay, So again, we have a spurious relationship. The confounder is uh, average temperature, or maybe time of year, something like that. Okay, That would be a spurious relationship and I hope you, you can see that it's really important that we um, know about confounder variables okay um, if we do not control for these then any conclusion we might draw from the from from our data might be wrong okay or they might be nonsensical um, okay um, I would like to conclude today's lecture at this point. Um, if well, if we continue next week, we would continue with uh, causality and well, basics on regression analysis. Um, well, as always, if you have any questions or comments regarding this lecture recording or the seminar or uh, anything else, please let me know on Moodle. Uh, you can post a new topic in the discussion forum. Um, and of course, if you have any personal questions, just um, uh, contact me by email or um, uh, come by my office.